Okay, we got another no cool here. She mentioned the air handler being in the garage, so maybe it'll be an upflow and we'll get an easy one. Let's go see. Probably gonna be that ECM. Both of these are hots. So even though that looks like it might be a common, it's not. The common is in this. So the greens, ground, the yellow, and black are your 240, 220, whatever. And then that brown right there is your common. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see. Speed taps are hot. Yeah, twenty seven something right there. The blue one's hot. The white one is not. So that is my very simple method that tells me we need an ECM. All right, so all I did was made sure the yellow and the black on this uh, plug here had 240 and we did. Like I say, that green is ground. Now that brown right there is the low voltage common. And you should always have one of these speed taps hot. I guess one's gonna be for heat and one for cool maybe, or I don't know. You just have to trace the wiring down to, to see, but that's what I would guess. So, and you got uh, these two speed taps and that brown that's common. And we had 27 something there, so. We got high and low voltage going to this controller here. That's gonna be a one piece. I'll probably put one of those evergreen deals in here. So let's pull it out and see what size it is and see if we've got one with us. Uh, ICP made grand air. Comes out real easy. See if I got a half horse with me. Well, normally we uh, keep one of those half horse. I'll keep a third and a half and a three quarter in the van. It's rare to see the, the one horse version but let's hope we've got one over here so 
So anyway, the half is the one I need. Like I was saying, it's rare to see, you know, there's a three quarter and there's a one third. Oh. Sure would like to get them some air today. One more place I can look at. All right, so I did get one. But uh, my other guy, it was in his, in, his, in his van, and he's off today and gone to the lake, so it's a good thing I had a key to his truck. But uh, so anyway, I had to run out to his house. All right, let's get it changed out. cool garage to work in and an upflow unit here sure can't complain about that like this one is a little bit rusty so I have to use a little bit of the nest method on it my nest hammer Mini miniature jack of all sprays thing is almost empty. So once that thing turns, it's pretty much going to be easy from there. Should pop right out and the end of this hammer has a little resin filled area or whatever that is I don't know but it's not metal right there and I can use that to drop on the shafts works out pretty good some you have to hit them a little bit obviously that one didn't have to be hit at all So all you got to do is kind of remember where you're at. Got the clamp right below the wiring, just a little bit down from it. So it's pretty easy to remember. Two little bushings. Oops.
ought to be using the, the real wrench here instead of this fits all. Tell you what, it's not as hot today as it's been, but it is certainly humid in this garage. So I'm ready to plug and play this bad boy. Bush in there it is. Put our set screw back in. Up flow. So we're gonna go right in the center, or at least eyeball it. As close to the center as we can. Feels good. Okay. So let's get this thing back in place. Put the screws back in it and get her fired up. I've said a hundred times, these ICP units are really very easy to work on.
put the ground on that second one in, but I always put it back there. All right. A good thing about them, these wires still only go on one way. Now, of course, the speed caps can adjust. Let's take a look. Your high voltage plug is really only going to go on one way. And the speed taps are almost always on two and four. Still got my jumper going from red to green. Okay. So we're going to watch this thing run both ways and adjust itself to the direction. and go the other way. close back up probably gonna be five minutes and we'll find out if she wants us to check anything else or what we're gonna do here it comes she's working all right, well, she's happy. They have air. And uh, she said she would like for us to come and service the system maybe this fall when things slow down a little. I don't know that they will, but regardless, we'll come do it. Um, the condenser, I walked out there with her. Looked like it could use a cleaning, but I really didn't do much checking. I just walked around and talked to her and did what she wanted done. So that was all she wanted to spend today, is how she put it. So, looks like we're wrapping up early today. It's Sunday and I'm finished. Hallelujah. Headed home. Thanks for watching.